Welcome to Dr. Gesture Runs, and I'm gonna run about this. The update for The Witcher Wild Hunt, number three. Well, before I go on, here's a word from my sponsor, me. Don't forget to check it out. Amazon.com. Alright. Okay. Fine. Let's go. The Witcher 3 World Hunt gets a free next gen update on December 14th. Yay! That's generally. Uh, I would receive that with the uh, general good news. Really. The only thing is that I'm. Well, two things that I'm worried is first and foremost CD Project Red of today is not the CD Project Red. That made this game. Right now, they are a woke studio that released Cyberpunk 2077. Despite having some very good parts in Cyberpunk 2077, it had a myriad of bugs that they have yet to fix. One of them, which left me really triggered like no end, is that you're going up the stairs on a ramp or something like that. You are. Out of nowhere, you die. Yes. Exactly. It seems that the character, the main character, seems to have a kind of a weak spot, kind of like a Kryptonian hatred of them. Like Kryptonite! Stairs and ladders and ramps are Kryptonites for the main character. It's a one shot type of deal. Climb that stairs! It's a 10% chance that you're gonna get yourself killed. And they fixed that now. No. Right! And the second bit is, it awoke as fuck today. So, <laughs> it's gonna go bad, really. The long waited free next gen update for the Witcher 3 World Hunt is coming out on December 14, 2022. Enhancing the power of the next gen consoles and modern PC hardware in mind, the upcoming update will feature dozens of visual performance and technical enhancements, yay? Hopefully, hmm. including ray tracing support, faster loading times on consoles, a variety of mods integrated into the experience, and much more. I'm starting to get worried. On top of that, we are adding a set of DLCs inspired by Netflix's The Witcher series. Motherfucker! Motherfucking fucker! Such as new weapons and armor for Geralt and alternative locks for select characters. You know what that's called word for? RACE! FUCKING SWAPS! From a show, from a show that actively fucking hated the game and the books. Do you doubt me? Oh, let's go and check it out. Look, this one is from the Mayo. I forgot the Mayo, the Mayo, the Mayo. 
I forgot his name. Where is it? Ah, uh, Bo the Mayhem. I have been on your sh on show, namely Witcher, where some of the writers were not actively, were not, were not or actively disliked the books and games, even actively mocking the source material. So, you're going to add to the game stuff from a TV show where the writers hated the game and the book. Let that sink in. The same goddamn fucking show that gives us this. Race swap. Race fucking swap. The same show. The same goddamn fucking show that gave us another fucking race swap. Easter egg. Polish version, which is correct. The Netflix version, which there, it was the It was witchers on shits type of deal. And we have more race swaps. More race. Oh, wait, this is the same one. More race swaps. Jennifer does not look like a goddamn fucking ugly bitch. Well, technically, it's kind of is, but uh, her magic doesn't make her look like a goddamn fucking ugly bitch. She doesn't come from ugly into ugly. She comes from ugly to beautiful in the games and books. And here she comes from absolutely ugly into absolutely ugly. So, how's that? So, basically, in other words, they are adding a DLC that looks like a goddamn fucking penis. The Nilf Guard armor, which looks like a ball sack, with a helmet that looks like a goddamn fucking dick. So basically, your game, your your Witcher game, is going to look like a penis. Let that sink in. They are adding the DLC of penis, a dick, a dick move, a dick DLC. Don't you think that's a bit of a no-no on on scene? Why would you morons? Add the DLC from not the Witcher, Witcher Netflix. That thing is not the Witcher. The only thing that could potentially even made it remotely somewhat barely acceptable was Henry Cavill, but that one is a goner since he is not showing up on season four. I wonder what they're going to do. Will they just ignore him like uh, nothing happened or they were gonna say oh he died he is reborn there's Liam Hemsworth <laughs> oh my god god damn it <sighs> I'm worried I'm worried that they're going to make this thing suck like balls oh wait we already have this suck like goddamn fucking balls like this it's a goddamn fucking sucky balls, isn't it? Ball sack. Ball fucking sack. Ugly ass bitch from ugly ass bitch. Ray swap, ray swap, ray swap, ray swaps. And actively disliked. Amazing, isn't it? Ah, goddamn fucking word. Oh, yeah, wait. Who wants to bet that there are going to be some censored bits in there because of modern audiences? Oh my god! Like, oh my god, I'm so silly triggered by this a jog from the Witcher. Mm. To the woke tards, to the ballsack loving idiots who somehow like that goddamn garbage from Netflix and the others who actually support the modern audience and woke tards suck on my goddamn fucking balls and choke on my goddamn fucking dick that is all on that goddamn fucking hell have a great fucking night